While there are mixed opinions tonight on whether the lieutenant governor should resign or stay in office, there is widespread consensus on this. All of this is placing a dark cloud over the Commonwealth. As soon as Lieutenant Governor's second accuser came forward, I hit the ground to hear what many of you are thinking. Thinking, oh my gosh, that doesn't sound good. For others, I had to break the news. Today is the second woman that came Oh, forward. really? Yeah. Friday, accuser Meredith Watson said the alleged sexual assault happened when they were in college at Duke in 2000. She says she has old Facebook messages and emails to prove the assault. I'm glad that she felt this, a social responsibility and an obligation to be brave and come forward and say something. Lieutenant Governor Justin Fairfax denies this second allegation as well. He says all of this is a smear campaign against him. I think the both women should be heard, and um, but I think he should be heard as well, so I don't want to jump to conclusions or make judgments. And it's not just the Fairfax scandal. People in town say the controversy surrounding the attorney general and the governor is all taking a toll. Yeah, they should all go. Moments after he sat down with the governor, we caught up with John Boyd, president of the National Black Farmers Association. He's pledging his support for the embattled governor. Based on my conversation that I had with the governor about something that happened uh, 35 plus years ago and the way that he's governing Virginia and the way that he asked for forgiveness, I forgive him, and I believe that we should give him a second chance to govern here. He says, as for Fairfax, it's simply a waiting game to determine what develops. Regardless, one thing's for certain. Virginia's in trouble. Virginia's in a crisis. When it comes to the lieutenant governor, all along he has said he questions the timing of these allegations coming to light when he would be next in line to assume the role of governor should Ralph Northam resign due to his own separate blackface controversy. Live at the state capitol on your side, Brent Solomon, NBC 12.